Anyway, as you can see behind, let us now oh. boldly go. Yes, thank you, Joel. <laughs> to, to Leicester. Star Trek. Yeah. Yeah. I know. The city is fast becoming the capital of Britain's burgeoning space industry. It's now involved in new missions to Mars and Mercury. And new developments unveiled today should put it light years ahead of the rest, <laughs> as James Roberson reports. What are we seeing here? We're seeing... In the Space Research Centre at Leicester University today, the Science Minister, David Willits, is shown the new clean room. In here, in pristine conditions, scientists are building AstroSat, an X-ray camera that's being built for the Indian Space Agency. The Leicester scientists are proud of the technology they've developed to make such cameras ever smaller. We've been doing uh, cameras for X-ray telescopes for many years now and we've really reduced the size from essentially uh, the size of a dustbin down to something which is less than 10 kilos and, and you know, a few tens of centimetres cubed. It's all part of the technologies that the minister was shown. The university has now been in the space business for 50 years, a business that gets bigger and bigger. They're also involved in a Japanese mission to Mercury, a European mission to Mars, and the James Webb Space Telescope, the successor to the famous Hubble Telescope. One, two, three. As the minister opened a new one and a half million pound extension building, he promised the government had ring fence billions for more scientific research, including in the space business. So yes, we are committed to this, and we do understand that it's, it's not just Fascinating, it's also absolutely fundamental for the growth of the British economy and high-tech industries. It gives us a, a big validation of what we're trying to do. We know what we're trying to do is important. To hear a Minister of Government say it is, is really quite, quite something. For those who worked on the Beagle Mars lander project, knowing other international projects like AstraSat are supported is a big boost. For Leicester, it's something we're very proud of because, of course, we have such strong links to India. So for us to, to really be uh, you know, a lead player in this, in this very important Indian mission, that's, that's really fantastic for us. And it really does put us on the map once again in the, in the global picture. AstroSat, a little bit of Leicester, should be launched from India later this year. James Robeson, East Midlands, today in Leicester.